the presidential debates this fall, agreeing to debate at least twice before the general election. Take a look. Donald Trump lost two debates to me in 2020. And since then, he hadn't shown up for debate. Now he's acting like he wants to debate me again. Well, make my day, pal. I'll even do it twice. So let's pick the dates, Donald. I hear you're free on Wednesdays. Wow. Uh, the Biden campaign is rejecting the nonpartisan organization that has managed presidential debates from 1988 and wants the debates to start sooner than the fall. Uh, the fall dates on the commission on presidential debates proposed, uh, the New York Times reports, they want the, the debate to occur inside a TV studio with microphones that automatically cut off when a speaker's time limit elapses. And they want it to be just the two candidates and the moderator without the raucous in-person audiences that Mr. Trump feeds on and without the participation of Robert F. Kennedy Jr. or other independent or third party candidates. The campaign is also proposing one vice presidential debate to be held in late July. So, so we were waiting to see if there'd be a response. Well, we were waiting to see what the response would be. And here it is. Moments ago, Donald Trump responded on his social media platform, writing in part, ready and willing to debate Biden at the two proposed times in June and September, I would strongly recommend more than two debates and for excitement purposes, a very large venue. Although Biden is supposedly afraid of crowds. Not sure what that means. That's only because he doesn't get them. Just tell oh me when God. I'll be there. Let's get ready to rumble. Oh, okay. Writes the former president. So he says in this moment today, doesn't want to be seen probably as backing down, that he would agree to these two debates perhaps with some negotiating, some sticking points in there. Yeah, we have each man using catchphrases as part yeah. of their debate rhetoric this morning. Uh, but yes, Trump took to Truth Socials a few minutes ago, as you just read. He says he's in, but the devil's in the details here. Yeah. There's a lot that has to be worked out. Trump, of course, is going to need to say today that he's in. He doesn't want to project cowardly, uh, that he's cowardly, Rev. Um, but there's a lot. There's venue, moderator, whether or not they do make a choice about crowds. Trump wants it, Biden doesn't. The microphones are going to be a big issue. We highlighted that last hour. Will Trump dare, will Trump agree to a system where he could be cut off at any time? Um, so I don't think we should count on these debates happening, but a few weeks ago, I think you would have taken a bet, said there'd probably be no debates. At least say there's a chance. What do you think? I think there's a chance, but I think that Donald Trump will try to use every trick he can to avoid debating, particularly on a one-on-one -on -one without an audience, because he does not know policy. He does not know really uh, what his presidency would mean in terms of a reelect. And he does not need to be one on one where he cannot feed off of making audiences clap or laugh. And uh, as Joe said earlier, where he gives his lines that would fall flat if it's just in a studio where he uh, Joe, uh, Joe Biden and a moderator. So he's not going to try in any way, shape or form to cooperate with that kind of setup. But Mika, as we know, Donald Trump needs a crowd. He's he most does. comfortable at where at his rallies. It's kind yeah. of all he does where he has a friendly audience that echoes and does the call and response and he can say whatever comes to his mind. In a controlled setting where there's no crowd and a, a well-informed moderator with good questions and it's about policy and it's about answering questions about perhaps some of his his trials that are sitting in front of him. That's not a good setup for Donald Trump. So I He's saying, like John said, he has to say today, of course, anytime yeah. that he plays, let's, let's get, ready get ready to rumble, rumble, but we'll see when this negotiating starts. And also, I mean, a court proceeding is a pretty serious proceeding, and he can't even go to that without uh, bringing in little crowds here and there. And this and He yesterday. builds them at Mar-a-Lago. He comes out and addresses the dinner audience most crowd. nights. Yeah. Sort of a rally. And we should note, the, uh, there, I'm told now, there's yet to be any direct contact between the Trump and Biden campaigns. So no, just a, just uh, social media a truth post. And let's not forget, <laughs> we are waiting quotes. to see when he gets a verdict in Manhattan. Right. Because if the verdict doesn't come until June, if he's convicted, he will right. need the permission of his parole officer to travel to any debate. <laughs> Right. There's that. There's a there's a long way to go. We have no idea how that's going to turn out, but that is 